my friends welcome back this is my first video in uh, a little over a week and uh, I'm still healing up that middle finger but it doesn't hurt anymore I'm just covering it up because it's not very pretty right now so um, I am featuring something really exciting today this is a full collection from Bombshell Nail Co and it is 15, 15 beautiful colors reminiscent of the 1920s. It is New Year's Eve inspired, but also inspired by uh, the 1920s and their art deco. So um, this little mini, look how cute this little mini cuticle oil pen is. Um, that scent is Chanel number no. five, which was very popular back in that era. And here are some beautiful, look at this. Did you guys know that Bombshell did water slide decals? She does. And they are really, really nice. Um, and those ones are actually foiled. So they're metallic. Gorgeous. I'm going to use a couple of those in this Manny. Um, so here are the 15 colors. Um, they are all shades of gold and silver and gray and metallic and champagne. And there's a red in there. And there is this gorgeous mixed glitter with some black and gold and silver. It's just stunning. And I'm going to use that today. So this is Birdie. It is the red with gold, the gold shimmer in it. It's not actually glitter, it's like gold shimmer. It's beautiful. And then this is Gatsby, which is that beautiful glitter mix I was mentioning a moment ago. I'm gonna use both of those colors in this Manny. And I do have peel base on. I'm using my Virgo and Gem peel base today. Um, so because some peel bases tend to make your base coat dry really quick, I am first going to put a layer of base coat down over my peel base, let it dry, and then when I go in to dip, it should dry a little slower for me uh, so that I get fuller coverage on my nail. Um, I am using my Dipomania um, liquids today. I was gonna use my bombshell liquids, however, there was a mishap and uh, yeah, I don't have a bombshell base coat anymore i'm gonna have to replace that uh so i ended up using my dipomania liquids again this time um but that's okay it's okay the powders are what's important here um because this collection is to die for it is exactly what i envision like when i think of the 1920s and the way that the women and the men dressed and the colors that they wore, this is pretty much spot on. I think that uh, Leanne really hit the nail on the head with this collection. This red, okay. So I don't wear a whole lot of red, not because I don't like red. I just, I don't know. I just don't reach for it that often, um, but this red, really really spoke to me i don't know if it's this gorgeous gold shimmer can you see it and it is full coverage i mean that's just one pour over and that's a pour over i didn't even dip my finger and it is full coverage beautiful color and i love it i had to get this red on my nails um and i thought that it would look really cool with that glitter mix that i was talking you can see it on my thumb right there it's just well, we're going to talk about that glitter a little bit later <laughs> because um, it gave me a run for my money. It's not even a chunky glitter, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. So I, I decided to pour over because my nails are a bit longer right now than I usually have them and dipping into the jar. I just didn't want... Um, because sometimes when I dip into the jar when my nails are really long, um, it, you know, makes them, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like, not smudge, but like pucker, I guess. 
and then you just end up with this really unsightly bump that you have to then file out it's just i wanted a smoother application than that so i thought a pour over would be a better option this time around and i'm glad i did that because it really did show me how well this red covers even with a pour over uh, you know sometimes a pour over um, gives you a thinner application and this i mean full coverage one pour over and it was full 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 coverage so i am loving loving this red powder and i can tell you from swatching all of the other colors that all of the other shimmers and fine glitters are exactly the same way um, one thing I did want to mention is that several of those glitters, by the way, she used the like diamond reflective glitters. So I, I really debated about using one of those. Um, but no, I just had to use this red and I thought that the, 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 the glitter mix looked really nice with the red. So that's what I went with. But those reflective glitters, there's a gold a champagne and a silver and and some of them are mixed but they're just stunningly like shiny in in the in the light like just wow so those are gorgeous um and i love that all of the colors are like they are all there's like several in the same color families so that you can like yeah it's it's a great collection i think i love i love the spectrum of these colors and they are very very 1920s inspired um you know great great gatsby and all of that um i also think of um like downton abbey you know like there was a part of downton abbey that was kind of in the 1920s and i don't know like that's that's what i think of when i see these colors i think she really and oh my gosh, those water slide decals, we're going to get to those too. Um, so easy to apply. And the foil, the metallic foil, it's just so perfect with this collection. Uh, so you guys are going to want to grab this up. It is going to be a perfect, like, and you can pick and choose. You don't have to buy the whole collection. I mean, that is an option. If you want all 15 colors, they are available. Um, they will be available together as a collection but you can also pick and choose the colors you like and um and go from there but they are perfect colors for new year's eve like perfect which is exactly what i think she had in mind here um but so let me just give you a little bit of detail about this collection and when it's releasing um so a bombshell is going to release this collection on wednesday december 1st at 10 a.m eastern time so if you love these colors as much as i do set your alarm and make sure you don't miss out on this collection um but she has a, and the other thing i want to mention she's gonna have a lot of really awesome deals for this collection um you can buy the whole collection and you um, get a free full-size cuticle oil pen um, in the Chanel number no. five scent, which I it I got the mini pen and it is it smells so nice. I might have to buy a full size because it smells just like um, yeah, like I imagine. <laughs> can I be honest? I've never actually smelled Chanel number no. five, so I can't tell you if it's an identical match, but what I can say is that it smells really nice and it kind of smells exactly how I imagined it would smell, if that makes sense. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, so yeah, you buy the whole collection, all 15 colors and you get a free cuticle oil pen, a full three milliliter. But if you decide you don't want or need all 15 colors, that's fine. You can choose any four colors from the collection and you'll get a free mini cuticle oil pen of the same scent, the Chanel number no. five. So that's that's a really cool deal. Um, also, she has several deals um, for her water slides, like buy two, 
get one free. And then there are a couple other deals about um, the cuticle oil pens. I think you can buy five of the mini cuticle oil pens and get 5% off. And if you get five full-size three milliliter pens, you get them for like five for $30. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really great deals going on that day. So go check that out. I am going to link Bombshell's website down below. I don't have direct links for these colors yet because they have yet to be released. But uh, if you just go to their website, you should be able to find the collection pretty easily. Um, and the two colors that I am personally using in this Manny are Birdie, which is the red, and Gatsby, which is the glitter mix, which <laughs> we are applying now. And um, let's talk about that for a quick second. So I, I'm applying it like I do most of my chunky glitters because it is very densely packed with glitter. Um, this glitter is chock-a-block full of fine glitters, medium glitters, small glitters. There's nothing really chunky in it. Um, there are no, none of those really big hex uh, glitters that you see in a chunky glitter, but, but it, for me, behaved like a chunky glitter. So that's how I applied it. So as you saw, I did a pour over first and then I am laying my finger down in it. And I, the way that those black glitters laid for me, um, was kind of a struggle. Uh, all the other parts of this glitter were fine. Those black glitters um, did not want to lay down flat for me. So I did a lot of pressing with my finger protector. Um, I did a lot of pressing once I cap and clear. And then I do some more pressing down when I apply my activator. Um, but this, this, those two nails <laughs> took me the longest to file. Like the, the red, smooth, easy application hardly had to file them at all all of my filing was on those two glitter nails <laughs> um it was definitely worth the work because it is a beautiful glitter once it's applied um but yeah you're gonna you're definitely gonna wanna um find what works best for you with that glitter um, I played with it a bit when I was swatching it and uh, it actually applied on my finger a little differently than it swatched. So I'm not sure why that is, but um, it was definitely worth it though, because in the end, I love the result. It just took a little bit of extra elbow grease in the filing department, but that's okay. Thank goodness I only put it on two fingers, right? <laughs> so I'm capping in clear. Um, but I did not cap my two, my ring finger and my middle finger. And that is because I'm going to do a little bit of filing on those uh, before I cap to shape them the way I want them. And I'm going to apply the water slide decals. So we'll get to that in a few minutes. Right now I'm just gonna cap everything else in clear. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of filing with my e-file. Um, and I think I kept a little bit of my e-filing in for you guys, but I was completely out of frame with the hand file. So I did not leave that in for you and I'm sorry, but um, then I am going to apply the water side. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from um, talking. Then I will come back to walk you through my water slide decal application process. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I did want to pop in and say real quick that I did have a wonderful weekend away last weekend with my husband for a 10-year wedding anniversary. Um, it was really nice to get away and uh, go somewhere and enjoy, you know, spending time together and uh, 
we got to do a little shopping in some cute little towns and we had some wonderful meals and yeah it was definitely time well spent so because the, my last upload was my anniversary mini i thought i'd just hop in and mention how the weekend went all right be back soon Alrighty, so I decided that I really loved um, a couple of these little elements that she included and they are gold um, and I love that there's like this little space. So later on, after I'm finished with my dip application, I am going to apply a couple of little blingy blings on there too, but right now, I'm going to put these water slide decals on my two middle nails, so my ring and my middle finger, and I am going to use my jelly stamper. But first, I'm going to prep both nails by applying a sticky base coat. Um, I just find that decals stick better when there is a tacky layer on the nail for it to stick to. So, and I really like using the Maniology Sticky Base Coat for this um, because I can use it under my dip liquids really easily. Um, and it works really, really, really well. So I apply a layer of the Sticky Base Coat and then I will go ahead with my uh, application process using the Jelly Stamper. And I am going to use my new favorite method of doing so. I no longer uh, like to soak my decals in the water itself. Um, I trim my decal as close to the design as possible so there's not a lot of, um, you know, edge for it to lift. Um, and then I will place it on the jelly stamper face down so that the paper backing is up. And I use a Q-tip to dab water onto the back of the decal. I wait a few minutes and then I just slide the backing right off. Very easy, very simple, and it's quick. It really, I mean, if you watch, it takes almost no time at all. Um, and then I just turn the stamper over and apply it as if I'm applying a stamp. And it is as easy as that, but watch. See, I've just let it sit for a little while and then I use my thumb to just set, slide the backing right off. Just like that. Now I carefully line it up and apply it where I want it. And that's why I love using the jelly stamper because you can just really see where you're placing it and it's a lot easier to get it where you want it. And voila! There it is. And I gently press down with my finger to make sure there are no creases and uh, move on to the next one. 
So I am going to fast forward and speed through the second application. It's exactly the same process. Apply the sticky base coat and uh, go through the steps of applying the decal. So I'm not gonna talk through this. I'm just gonna let you watch and then I will come back to cap these babies in clear and yeah, we'll move on. I did not use to cap in clear over my decals. Um, that is something that I have recently began doing only because um, I just think that it provides a little bit more protection. Um, when I have decals like this, they don't tend to um, lift or fade at all. But the last couple of times that I've used full coverage, um, you know, full coverage wraps, I discovered that capping in clear over them protected them and kept the edges from coming up. So I've just kind of gotten into the habit of doing that with all of my decals and it works out pretty well. So, you know, I just kept on doing it. So now I'm activating and I am going to file and buff everything off camera as I usually do. Trust me, this time around you'll be grateful for that because it took me a good minute <laughs> to file those glitter nails. Trust me, it was a process. But thanks to the magic of editing, ta-da, <laughs> all filed and ready for the second activation. So I'm activating all five nails again, and I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'll come back in for the top coat. All right, now that I have waited for the activator to dry a little bit, I'm gonna come back in with my top coat and we're gonna do two to three quick swipes with the top coat as our first layer and wipe the brush on the napkin. Make sure you don't contaminate your brush or your bottle of top coat. Um, because any time that your brush comes in contact with activator, it could harden the brush. So it is the safest practice to swipe that brush on a napkin to make sure that when you dip that brush back into the bottle, you're not contaminating it with the activator.
Okay, top coat is all done. They are nice and shiny. And now I'm gonna add the little bling that I spoke of earlier. I'm gonna use a couple of these flat back uh, rhinestone type gems in that little open space. On these decals, I think it just added the littlest bit of je ne sais quoi, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just like how it looks. And that's all that matters. So, um, I did apply these using my dip top coat instead of a gem gel, gem glue. I just haven't had the best luck with my gem stain put. So, I figured I would just give this a shot. Um, I have done this before and they lasted okay. Um, they, these have, I've had these on for three days now and they're still in place. So I guess it worked pretty well then. I don't keep my manis on for very long, usually at the most a week, sometimes a little less. So I wasn't really looking for a great deal of longevity as some people might want because you know i know a lot of people like to keep their manis on for two three sometimes even four weeks um mine never stay on that long because you know i'm filming at least once a week so i only needed them to last a little while if you wanted them to last longer you might want to try a different method so we're gonna wrap this up as I always do. I'm going to apply my cuticle oil after every mani. I make sure to rehydrate my cuticles and um, put back the moisture that was removed from the use of, you know, alcohol and the activator and everything. Just really dries my skin out. So I like to replenish the moisture with some cuticle oil. And I am, of course, going to use the Chanel Number no. 5 cuticle oil that goes along with the theme of this collection. Um, I just wanted to say a humongous thank you to Leanne from Bombshell Nail Co. because she sent me the entire collection and I just was so excited to be given the opportunity to try them out for her. So yeah, this collection releases Wednesday, December 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do not miss out on this stunning collection. Thank you all so much for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did enjoy making it. It was a lot of fun playing with all these powders and water slide decals. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on your notifications so that you know when my videos upload. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care of yourselves and have a great day. Bye-bye now.